Welcome back everyone to another video in our series of videos about the 2020-2021 coursework of social studies. As we know already, this is about hurricanes in the Bahamas. So this is going to be all about question number one. We know question one already. This is the classification of hurricanes according to the Safa Simpson scale is from one to five. Briefly describe the category stated in the Safa Simpson scale and we know that this is 10. So let's break this question now. What does this question really mean? So we could divide this question into two parts. Part one is all about the Safa Simpson scale. We're gonna talk about what it is, define some aspects related to it. Part two is where we talk about each category storm on the Safa Simpson scale. Let us look at part one. These are some questions that we're gonna ask ourselves. What is the Safa Simpson scale? Who invented the Safa Simpson scale? Why was it decided to classify hurricanes? What is a hurricane? Are all hurricanes the same? How does the Safa Simpson scale relate to hurricanes? What are the benefits and disadvantages of the Safa Simpson scale? So ask yourself these questions. These questions must be answered in the first part of this question in order to get full points for this section. Part two of question one. This is the part where it says that you have to briefly describe each category stated on the Safa Simpson scale. What does all this mean? This means to explain in full details. That's what describe means. So you're gonna tell me in detail each category of the Safa Simpson scale. So there's a category one hurricane, category two. I want you to tell me all the details related to it. So I want you to tell me things like, does this deal with wind? What are the winds associated with it? Does this have to do with um, Hurricane Ike, Hurricane Irma? I want you to tell me fully all those details. How much description is needed to get the full 10 points? A lot. So I want you to describe the wind speed, wind direction, destruction of the property, loss of lives. That's what I mean by describe. Should I include pictures to get more points? Nope. No extra points are given for pictures. Pictures can be included, but sometimes they get a little tacky, they take up a lot of space, so they're not really necessary. When describing, should I give examples? Yes, the more examples, the better. Give examples of places where hurricanes occur. Give examples of your aunt or uncle who was in a hurricane. Give examples of the winds that you saw during a hurricane. Give examples, examples, examples. The more examples, the better. So let's check in. At this point, you should be able to explain question one fully on your own. Let us now analyze two sources within the coursework that's gonna give you even more information. Source A. Source A is Hurricane Irma in 2017. What information can we gather from this picture? That's the first question that you need to ask yourself. Next question that you can ask yourself, which category on the Safa Simpson scale was Hurricane Irma? Another question you can ask, what does this symbol use in this picture? Tell us about the category of this hurricane. What were the weather conditions associated with Hurricane Irma? This source A, if you can answer these questions and you can extract that information, all this is going to give you a lot of meat for your description of hurricanes. Source B, what can we gather from this source? What can we get from this? It says that the North Atlantic hurricane season was mentioned. What can this tell us? Can we really know that this was the greatest hurricane if there was no scale created? Can hurricanes like this lead to the creation of the Safa Simpson scale? So once again, source B has lots of information 
that can help you give some meat for your description of your answer for question one. So use these points. Answer these questions. It's going to really be helpful. Say you went through all of this. You know what question one is all about. You know how to extract that information from the first two sources. You've got a lot of examples. But say you still need more help. Here's what we can do. I have a lot of research already done. I'm going to insert a video clip right about now. Okay, so in the description panel below, you'll see a link to this document. And this is all the research that you need on the Safa Simpson scale. When you access this document, I've also highlighted some key areas that can help you. And I've asked some posed some questions that's also useful for you. So please go over this research with a fine tooth comb. Make sure you get the answers to these questions and you'll be well on your way to answering question one. Here is an additional resource to help you with your research on question one. This is all about hurricanes this time. So here I've highlighted some key points to assist you with your research. Please review this carefully and you'll be well on your way to answering question one. This is an additional resource to help you answer question one. This is a template, remember a template. It outlines what to do in paragraph one, two, three, four, five, and then your last paragraph. Now here are some options for the middle section. You could categorize the hurricanes into smaller sections, or you could take them individually and put them in their own paragraph, however you decide to do it. But always remember your last paragraph, you must summarize the points that you mentioned in question one. Ms. Bolek is now giving you all the research in the world. Question one is now done. At this point, you should be able to explain the two sources that we just analyzed. You have a lot of juicy points for your question one to answer it. You should be able to answer question one fully, right? So now it's your turn to show off and show out. <laughs> Let's do this. All you need now is to sit down, quiet area, and get question one done. All the best.